Well, Marissa, first responders have been busy today responding to dozens of calls all across the state, and many of those calls are heat related. In less than five minutes of being at Hampton Fire and Rescue. That's a heat call, by the way, from the park, state park at the south end of the beach. Three calls came in, likely all heat related. We've already had three other towns in helping us today. The beach is a popular place on a day like today, keeping the fire and lifeguard crews busy as tens of thousands of people flock in. The road to get there backed up for miles. The calls continued in other parts of New Hampshire, too. American Medical Response says the majority of calls coming in are from the elderly without AC or people with medical and respiratory issues exacerbated by the heat. Those people struggle on a good day. A, a stretch of weather like this is really going to put them at risk for having some issues. They say heat stroke can be dangerous and 911 should be called immediately. Those symptoms can be confusion, dizziness, and the biggest indicator is when people aren't sweating. They say there's no quick fix once these symptoms set in, and many are avoidable if you're staying hydrated throughout the day and taking breaks from the sun indoors. You know, just use good judgment. Um, it, it's all about making um, smart decisions. And they say one of the best things you can do to keep yourself safe and cool in this kind of heat is visit one of the many cooling stations across the state here in Portsmouth. We're at the Public Library. This site is open until 9 o'clock tonight for anyone who needs it. And we do have a full list of all the cooling centers and places to keep cool in the state on our website. We're live in Portsmouth, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9. Okay.